is this? And what the heck do you do with it? That's what we're going to talk about with my friend Kayla on today's episode of Monday Magic. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Monday Magic. My name is Rob Green. I'm a photographer and educator based out of Fort Worth, Texas, and each week I'm here to give you tips, tricks, and inspiration to help you build your business, wow your clients, and make photo magic. And today I'm so stoked because I have another photographer joining me, Kayla Esslinger. She is an amazing photographer, uh, a friend of mine from California, and uh, also somebody who's enrolled in my flash course, which by the way, if you're looking to dive deeper with your flash, I've got a free one hour flash class that I teach. Would love for you to check it out. It, you'll find it in the link below this video and it's one hour that'll help you uh, discover three secrets to easily unlocking your flash's potential. So if you're one of those people that's tuned in today looking to go deeper with your flash knowledge, be sure to check out that free class. But now what I want to do is I want to bring my friend Kayla on and tell you about something that we figured out involving this thing right here. This, for me, when I first started shooting the flash, I was like, what the heck is this thing? Why do I need this? Like, I'm trying to get things, if you watched last week's video, I'm trying to get things to not look orange. You know, we go into these orange barns and our pictures look orange. Why would I want to put this on my flash and make everything orange? Well, Kayla and I were able to figure out some really great uses for this. And so I want to bring her on now. Kayla, what's up? How are you doing, friend? Doing great. So great to talk with you today, Rob. I'm excited to talk about this flash stuff. Yes, absolutely. Now, Kayla, for my audience that doesn't know you, tell me a little about you. Like, who are you? What kind of stuff do you photograph? How have you been doing this? Like, give us the 411 on Kayla Aslinger. Absolutely. So uh, I have been doing this for going on six years now. I am wow. a wedding photographer here in Orange County. Um, but you know, when you're in California, you're kind of anywhere from San Diego to Santa Barbara and anywhere in between. So mainly Orange County. I'm a mom of four boys and uh, homeschooling now. So wow. life is a little bit wild over here, um, but it's a lot of fun. So yeah. That's amazing. And I understand uh, you have a birthday coming up, right? I do. It will be tomorrow when this wow, video is Wow, happy aired. birthday. Well, thanks for spending Thank the hours you. leading up to your birthday with us. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, now, Absolutely. anecdotally here, I understand you actually got to second shoot for Amy and Jordan. What was that like? I feel like they, for me, that would be like the dream to get to shoot with those guys. What was it like for you? Honestly, that's exactly what it was it was leading up to that day I was like sick to my stomach from how nervous and excited I was because I mean I've done all of their courses I have learned everything I know from them so when you're going to actually put it into practice with the people that taught you everything it's like okay I hope I don't mess this up That's but they amazing. were incredible people I mean they were so genuine they were exactly who they are on camera behind the scenes I mean throughout the entire day they were just incredible people. I mean, wow. I know you've had amazing conversations with them. They just embody wisdom and love for people. Mm -hmm. And it was just so awesome. Such a privilege to do that. that. And I'm so excited that you got to do that. Amy and Jordan, if you're ever watching this, we love you. Thank you for all that you've invested in us. You're amazing. Um, now, you and I actually met through one of the AJ groups, probably like the local California one, and shot a wedding together ourselves uh, before I even had a flash course that was out there. So um, I know when you enrolled, you, you came to me and you were like, okay, Rob, this is great, but I've got this very specific question with this very specific challenge that California photographers run into a lot more often than people in other areas, but there's other areas of the country and the world that may encounter this as well. Tell me about the challenge you were encountering and what you were running into on your weddings. Yes, great question. So um, so we had a wedding before the pandemic, and which I was amazed with all of your flash knowledge and skills and your pro photos. And I was like, wow, this guy knows what he's talking about. And so um, after the pandemic, I, uh, I had this 50th birthday. It was in Newport Coast, which is like the bougiest area around us. It overlooks Pelican Hill and the ocean. And um, I wasn't fully prepared. I felt like my flash skills were pretty rusty already. 
and I wasn't fully prepared for what I walked into. So it was, um, a, it was at night and there was orange string lights everywhere or mm. whatever, however you want to call them, warm string lights. Yeah, yeah, natural yeah, absolutely. Eye. Um, <laughs> and there were these like beautiful fire heaters that were very orange. And I was, uh, like, I don't know what to do here. Like I just, I did one flash. I didn't have my extra flashes. And when I came back to editing, I was like, oh my gosh, these pictures are orange. And I hate orange. I mean, I'm sure there's some photographers, dark and moody, who like the color. I hate that. <laughs> so, um, so I was looking and editing and tweaking, as you'll see, and the skin tone started to look right, but everything else was orange. And I was like, this is not a good representation of my work. And so, um, as I started to think about it, any outdoor setting, at least for us normally has those market lights or the, however you call them. And, um, and that just automatically is really orange. And so that was my problem that I was like, I, I can do indoor pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. It's not super consistent, but the outdoor is just a challenge. So. So whereas for us in Texas or along through the South, we get a lot of orange barn weddings. You're getting a lot of orange string light weddings and whereas we talked about on our last episode, like the solution with the orange barns is you can actually lower your Kelvin and that, you know, will take the, everything and make it, including the skin tones a little better. You had a different problem. You had skin tones that looked great, but it was all the background because of these string lights that was creating this weird orange glow that wasn't what you wanted for your images. Exactly. Exactly. That's true. As you can see, my little boy just joined. I love it. Real life right there. What's up, man? How are you? <laughs> you say hi. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, that's exactly right. Well, tell me then, as we work together, we figured out a solution for your problem that involved this. Tell me about what that solution was and how that has transformed your images. Yes. So that when I got to chat with you, I remember bringing that problem up and then you kind of were super helpful and I could see you calculating in your mind. And thankfully I got to talk with the expert because I'm kind of like a rule follower and sometimes I just need permission. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so to talk with someone who kind of knows what they're talking about and then my love, will you sit down? Uh, sorry. To talk with someone that knows what they're talking about and then to uh, be able to just kind of figure out the options. Um, so you had mentioned there's an orange gel that could work. And I remember us talking through it and it doesn't make sense when you're thinking about why am I adding more orange into the picture? Like you said, but what it does is it changes the flash color to match the tungsten that you're flashing in. And so now you're not having two sources of light that are different colors. You're having all one source of light that you're able to correct as a whole. And so that yeah. for me was a huge game changer danger which if you're tr not yet tracking with what she's saying so last week we showed you orange barn where everything when you shoot with flash is all orange this week what we have here is people great skin tones orange background so the solution is you put this onto your flash so that you actually create the dilemma we were trying to solve last week. So now everything's orange. And then you use your Kelvin adjustment and lower it down till the white balance is where you want it for optimal images. And y'all just look at the results she was getting with this. I mean, is that not unbelievable? Like, let's just put it side by side now with some of the shots before and you can see how much that orange glow that she was trying to get rid of was just totally eliminated all by adding one of these onto the flash. Kayla, this is amazing. Thank you so much for um, sharing your knowledge and your success uh, in this with us. I'm sure there are gonna be tons of photographers that shoot outdoor weddings with strand lights that are gonna be thrilled that they now know what to do when they encounter the very same problem that you were able to overcome. Let me ask you, if people wanna follow along with your journey, cause y'all, Kayla is an amazing photographer. Like you're gonna be blown away when you see your photos. Uh, if, if they wanna follow along with you, how what's the best way to track with you and what you're doing with your business? The best way to follow along is on Instagram. So my Instagram is just at Kayla Denae and I post my babies and my work and all of the things all together. So that's where Amazing. you can find me. 
<laughs> we'll have a link to her Instagram in the show notes below this video. So if you want to give her a follow, please do. You're going to love her work. Kayla, thank you so much for jumping on and being a part of this. Uh, it's just been great to catch up with you a little bit. And I'm so thrilled uh, to see you thriving out there in California and have a great birthday tomorrow. Thank you so much, Rob. <laughs> Y'all. Oh my gosh. Is that not wild? The difference? Like I can't even and fathom in my brain a scenario where you would want to create a problem to be able to solve a problem. But that's what we were doing. Just by adding this on, we were able to match the skin tones to the background of the image and then adjust white balance for everything. Total game changer if you're somebody that shoots outdoor weddings with a lot of those strand lights. So thank you for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's content, please give this video a like and a comment below and subscribe to our channel, it really helps. We'll be back next time with more tips, tricks, and inspiration to help you build your business, wow your clients, and make photo magic.